Although water might be a renewable resource, there's really only a little, little amount that's available for us to use and that we need to take really good care of. Not everyone in the world has clean water to use, and so you're very lucky if you do. One really important thing that we do at our National Wildlife Refuge is provide habitats for endangered species. And our other one is a mouse, but not this guy. You might be familiar with Maxi, but our mouse is actually white and much, much smaller than Maxi. This is the salt marsh harvest mouse. This will help us understand a little bit better about what a watershed is and what it does and how things work in there. So a watershed is a place where water flows from high places and goes to low places and everywhere in between. You really got to disco this part to get the point. A storm drain is kind of like a grate that runs along your sidewalk. You've probably seen them and oftentimes we think of them as sewers. Kind of like this is doing right now, running off into the creeks and polluting up everything that it comes in contact with. But make a few observations about what's different this time around than the first time that we poured the water through there. And go ahead and pour all of it in there. And I'm going to keep a little aside so we can compare our sample from before and after so that we can see a little bit better of how our wetlands filter nutrients and pollutants out of the water. And then anything else left over would get caught in that fine black layer of charcoal on the very bottom. And this is just like how our wetlands filter and clean water for our watershed. These are a few examples of some California plants that are found in uplands habitats like Toyon, Black Sagebrush, California Sagebrush, and Coyote Brush. This is the amount of water on our planet that is fresh, not frozen, so that we could actually think about using it. Now, where do you guys think that a lot of this not frozen fresh water would be? I want you guys to think about different ways that you can save water at home. Now, there's all sorts of things you can do from taking shorter showers, even just a minute or two less will save a whole lot of water. And I'd like to thank you guys for taking part in Science Castle. And I'd also like to thank our supporters, the United States Fish and Wildlife Service, the City of San Jose, and the San Francisco Bay Wildlife Society. This feathery looking pale green plant is a really classic plant and it's called California Sagebrush. And if you ever get the chance to come out to our refuge or in other parts of California, you see this. It's really, really fragrant. And if you rub your fingers on the leaves, you can smell it has a really sweet kind of vanilla smell to it. So it's a really cool uplands plant that you'll find around California. <laughs>